Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Unforgettable Sailing. And today, this video is also a suggestion from one of our viewers. We're gonna t tell you about our favorite anchorage in the planet. To do that and change a bit the scenery, we're going to the beach and do some errands you have to do there and enjoy this beautiful morning. Come on. We are Georgia and Diego. And this is our home, Unforgettable. For the past five years, we've been sailing the planet. Our challenge now is to continue the adventure as our family grows. When we were young, Subscribe we and join our life at sea. Before we tell you our favorite anchorages in the world, I just would like to invite, if you are new here, please subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up to this video, this helps us a lot. And a quick disclaimer also, this video is about our favorite anchorages and doesn't mean they are the most beautiful in the planet or very technical aspects, they are just the places that touch us uh, deeper and because every place has a special aspect, so it's not only the most beautiful, but the anchorages we like the most in these years. If you are new here or you don't know what we sailed in these years, we left South Brazil, sailed all the way to the Caribbean. From the Caribbean, we went to Panama, crossed the canal, Galapagos and French Polynesia in the South Pacific, where we are right now. So these are our favorites in this part of the world. Okay, let's get straight to it. For the first one, I will set the bar very high because this is one of my favorite anchorages ever. This is so, so beautiful and so nice. It's here in French Polynesia, French Polynesia in the Tuamoto Archipelago. It's an atoll called Toao. This place is just like incredibly beautiful. The water is super clear, lots of lives under the water. Like you can snorkel, you can scuba dive and you will see lots and lots of things. Beautiful corals, lots of animals. The landscape is just amazing, white sand, you know, it's a, uh, I just, it's hard to describe how beautiful this place it is, but with the images you can have an idea. And it's not only like the beauty of the nature, also it's a very like remote and wild place. So there are only about like two or three families that live in one of the anchorages and on the, uh, the rest of the atoll, not many families either. So it's very nice getting in contact with these locals. We were very well welcomed. This family that uh, lives by, they have some mooring balls that you can grab or you can also anchor there and they can cook for you. They taught us how to do some local dishes. They cultivate a lot of stuff in their property. So it's really like a, a whole experience, you know? You can enjoy the nature, you can meet the locals, you can have a little taste of the local culture and you are so so isolated from everywhere because this place is literally in the middle of nowhere so i really love to this is like not an easy place to get probably you can only get there by boat there's no other way to get there there's no airport no roads of course so it's a very special place like if you have the chance to get there you are really lucky and i'm considered super lucky to have to have had this opportunity A place that must be in this list, but actually it's not an anchorage, it's Bonaire. In Bonaire you cannot anchor. There are mooring buoys along the coast and you grab one of those moorings. That's the regulation to protect the beauty reef they have around the island. And if you are into diving or if you want to get into uh, scuba diving, this is the place to go in the Caribbean. It's just fantastic uh, options all over the place for scuba diving. There are wrecks, you can go from the beach, you can dive just under your boat and it's amazing. We spent uh, nearly a month there and it was a great time. We had friends around us, so it was pure fun. The, the Dutch supermarkets bring a, a nice touch to it. You have all the great bakery, great beers, great chocolate. So overall great experience. Oh, Isla loves these walks by the beach. She likes the noise of the water hitting the sand. 
She sleeps very easy, so that's good. We almost every day we walk here. And I was thinking one place that I'm super glad we didn't miss in the Caribbean is Los Roques in Venezuela. This is super amazing. Like we were in doubt, should we go, should we not? We went there in 2018 and because of safety and the situation in Venezuela, we were not sure. But I'm super glad we ended up stopping there. It's wild, it's beautiful. The Caribbean actually was the best place we snorkeled, in my opinion, from the places we've been because so much life under the water. It's very well preserved because there's not many people living there and by the time we were there there was not too many tourists. I don't know how it's usually there but it was super cheap also what was good and people very friendly, great food. So yeah, it was a surprise for me. There are so many little islands you can go and many of them you are the only boat at the anchorage. It's like crazy, just you, the sky, the water is super beautiful too, white sand. It's a, it's a paradise, I'm super glad because yeah, if, if you pass by and you have the chance, don't miss Los Roques. I could not wait to show the guys my revolutionary water maker. You put clean water on this side and you get clean water on this side. It's, uh, you find parts everywhere, takes no power, it's gravity based. But enough of the silliness on this place. There's only one place to get water and it's there. As you can imagine, it's not easy to put the water from this into this. You're like a piece of heaven in a hurricane. And it's bubbling over like sweet champagne. You got your mama's sunshine. Bocas del Toro in Panama. That's a surf and party place. <laughs> We're not much into party, but we took the three months there to surf a lot. Bocas del Toro, it's a very touristic place. There's a lot of uh, touristic flow and people from all over the place to enjoy these uh, very nice waves and also around this island there's many places to explore and really nice anchorage. The main anchorage right in front of the town it's a uh, in shallow muddy bottom so great holding but to be honest there lo there's loud music day and night and that's in the long term can drive you a bit crazy but it was completely worth because we we're enjoying this place and we had many friends around. We could also welcome uh, some friends that came for a visit. It's a nice, uh, easy place to reach. So uh, our friends from Brazil came and also the two-time uh, longboard world champion Phil Hajman came and with his crew we shoot a documentary and it was really cool. So Bocas, the place to surf in the Caribbean and very very nice if you are doing this circuit please include Bocas del Toro in your list and I'm sure you'll not regret. One place we enjoyed in the Caribbean that's different kind of different from all the other places is Les Sants in uh, Guadeloupe. It's a small part of Guadeloupe in south on the south of the island and it's just like a little bit like Europe but mixed with the Caribbean so you have like the anchorage by itself is not super good because it's very deep it's hard to anchor most of the times you can grab a mooring ball if they are available if they're not you have to anchor very deep but anyway the place is super cute there are a lot of restaurants and shops there a small bakery and you can have like a little taste as you are in a small island in in Europe so I don't know it was it was cool it's a place I think it's worth a visit this next place we are unsure either to put it or not on this list but we decided that we cannot leave it out because there's a special place in our heart and that's Carlisle Bay in Barbados the anchorage itself it's not great it's just like a, a long uh, stretch of beach there's a bit of wave so it, it moves quite a lot but was the first anchorage when we arrived in the Caribbean after an 11 day passage without autopilot and first time we were seeing that uh, blue crystal clear water and well if you overcome the difficulties of the anchorage and you have like Barbados for yourself and there's just like so many surf spots nearby and Barbados is so is so happy the atmosphere is so fantastic that makes everything uh, worth you know and uh, we just like we, we would leave the boat really early in the morning and go back to the boat late in the night spend the day find out finding out about this amazing caribbean island and in, enjoying the the kindness of, of the locals and uh, it's not every anchorage you can see 
horses swimming by your boat and I mean it every morning there were horses the, the, the race horses your training swimming by the ocean and, and that was a nice thing to see and it's beautiful it's 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 different it's not just like the anchorage you would choose looking at chart but still uh, one of my favorites ever and I'll never forget we have to get going, the sun is getting too strong for a baby girl and we finish this list on the boat. But you cannot live without talking about this place we are right now. If you come to French Polynesia and you don't come to Morea, you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, well, uh, we love this anchorage here so much that we made a video just about the perfect anchorage and you can check here, click on the card and you can see this whole video and then we discuss more the technical aspects of what makes a perfect anchorage but uh, Mareto Beach, this place here it's uh, one of the top favorites because there's everything if you want to know what we're talking about check the link and you find out why this is also one of our favorite anchorages in the planet yeah but just to give you an idea oops she sleeps this place has a beautiful beach right the boat there is water so as you you could see and yeah there's another boat lots of friends the island is amazing you can visit by land you can sail to other bays but this one is super protected from every kind of wind and wave so yeah you can spend months here We are back on the boat. I have a sink full of dishes to wash and a lunch to prepare for my ladies. Do you have any suggestion? How about that nice fish you make with some sauce? You, you know the one I like? You mean the sweet and sour oriental style? Yeah, that's the one. All right, you like this one, huh? Yeah. We have a winner then. And another anchorage I'd like to share with you. This has been a while and it's a Sitio Forte in Bahia de Ilha Grande, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And I think this anchorage was the one that uh, made us f fall in love with cruising. It's a beautiful bay surrounded with really high mountains. There's just a, it's pure energy, very natural. There's this long beach with just one shack that uh, opens and serves food every now and then. There's water available and coconuts and bananas and passion fruit. And yeah, this place is amazing. Everybody asks me oh, how it's cruising in Brazil. And I always say that Bahia de Ilha Grande as a whole, it's the, the must see, the place to be really when cruising in Brazil. In particular, this anchorage, I have lots of good memories there. It was the first time we stayed long, long periods in one bay without just like, a, we're not sightseeing, we're not doing tourism. We just drop anchor there and we stay for a couple of weeks and yeah and then we decided okay we're gonna do we want to do more of this so Sitio Forte favorite anchorage in the planet okay uh, Pato Riva in the archipelago of the Marquesas in French Polynesia first place we arrived after our crossing so it has a special meaning for us but it's super super beautiful and I remember when we entered the bay we see those high mountains mountains of rocks the landscape is amazing lots of green and you know after 19 days at sea everything can seem really nice but that place is amazing in mo in, like in the nautical literature some writers describe it as the most beautiful anchorage in the world i don't know if it's the most beautiful because it's hard to say that but for sure it's amazing and it's not only the landscape it's the experience and the feeling to be that to be there there is one of those places you ask yourself how did i end up here you know otherwise like if I was not sailing my boat, how would I end up coming to this place? Because it's so, so remote. There is no internet, maybe now, but I don't know when we arrived, didn't have internet, no airport, just a few cars and the one tiny, tiny shop with just a few things, you know, but people are super, super friendly. They live in community. They were super nice with us. They gave us lots and lots of fruit. They used to share things. So we felt super welcome. The child were super cool, super, 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 I know, but it's because, yeah, when I start talking, I just remember the feeling and it was 
one of one of those moments that you know you know you say like yeah that's why I'm traveling the world is because I wanted to come to these kind of places and yeah we interact with the children we exchange fruit for some jewelry like some stuff we had and it was very genuine very honest you know so that was a great great experience and even better when you arrive there after many many days at sea How did you like your lunch? Delicious, thank you so, so much. You're welcome. And to wrap up this video, let's talk about one last anchorage. One last anchorage, and I'll have to say Tobago Keys in St. Vincent and Grenadines. Yeah, in the Caribbean. This is a really cool place. It's the most clear water in the Caribbean, at least uh, that we've, we have been. And it's a group of small islands, inhabited islands, and just like uh, composed the perfect scenery and uh, Oh, it's, it's, it's great. Yeah, you can go for short hikes, but it's a great place for people that loves kiting because it can be very windy. Kite surfing? Yes, snorkeling is nice, lots of turtles. Yeah, remember? lots of turtles. And something really cool is that during the evenings, the locals, they go to the island and they prepare a barbecue by the beach oh, with yeah. lobster and other kind of fish. And it was super delicious. Yeah. We had the best lobsters in the Caribbean, I think. The best lobster I ever had and, and I think will be super hard simple, to Super simple, super simple. You know, like uh, fit on the sand, they just improvise some tables and make a great meal. This is super cool. So this is a place worth to visit too, I think. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's it about. That's it? Yeah. Well, been quite a lot. Yes, we already talked a lot. Well, this is a selection of our favorite and most memorable anchorages. Yes. But I'm sure there are so, so many amazing anchorages that we didn't talk and others that we couldn't go. Yeah and so many that we are still going to visit so yeah i hope you enjoyed this guys and guys before we go we had an idea then we thought it would be nice just uh, so we can connect even better you you can make questions to us like things you would like to know about us about sailing or about you know cruising or the places we've been because our last video we saw you really enjoyed to know more about our story things that we wouldn't imagine so you can write here down in the comments and in the end of each video we're gonna choose like one or two questions from the audience to answer to you I think it's gonna be fun by the end of the episode we answer your questions yeah so you can write down here in the comments and in the next episode we're gonna answer the questions that will be fun Yes, you're going to choose some questions. Bring it so, on! Yeah, so please bring the questions you would like to know and we're going to be very happy to answer it. And yeah. curious to see the questions. Yes, and I don't know if you guys are aware, we also have an um, online shop with lots of uh, unforgettable sailing merchandise. The link is here in the description and it's a great way to, to dress nicely and support our channel. You buy a shirt, you get a nice shirt and you support our productions. Yes, that's it guys. Thank you so so much for watching. Anything else? No, that's it. Yes, if you enjoyed this video, remember, if you're new here, subscribe to your channel. And see you next Thursday. Bye bye. So Prayana, so Moana, Slamai Michi, Vilar Taichi. So Prayana, so Moana, Slamai Michi, Vilar Taichi. That's it for today, guys. Uh.